Hello YouTube fans, this is Dr. Matthew Johnson. It is Monday, October the 10th, 2016, 12.08 p.m. in the afternoon. And with me today is... Kevin Beagle from Marysville. Not originally from Ireland, but anyway. <laughs> Marysville where? Washington. There we go, yep. yep. It's Mary Turpening from Marysville, Washington. Awesome, and yes, they are a couple. There we go. And then, also with us... Hi, Jackie Davis, Grants Pass, Oregon. Okay, awesome. And we are at the Southern Oregon Interaction Area, otherwise known as Soya. So, we have been here two nights already. We're going to be doing our third night later on, obviously. Um, but we neglected to shoot a video reporting from the previous night, so I've asked all three to share their highlights from the last two nights. So we're going to start off with Samara. Hello. Um, just the energy here is amazing. We first got here. Um, I feel like we've been watched the whole time. You can just feel, feel a presence watching you. <laughs> um, the, the first night, what was really amazing for me is I woke up and I heard a small girl singing out in the woods. And, and I, I heard her too. Yeah, and it was just, it was so beautiful. Not English, um, but just, it was just enchanting. You know, like, uh, I don't know how to describe it. Just very beautiful and sweet. Um, I, I just really feel like she was singing for us. Mm -hmm. um, we were playing music and I played my flute that night. And mm -hmm. so I feel like she was um, just giving back to us. It was very sweet. Lots of crashing thumps all around, mm -hmm. close by. I saw a lot of sparkles. <laughs> I could describe it like a um, shiny glitter in shapes. Mm -hmm. um, a white and a red, a lot of red mm -hmm. in the bushes. I haven't seen that before. Mm -hmm. um, I have seen eye glowing before. This was different. It was in shapes mm -hmm. um and well i have seen the sparkling before in the shape of a sasquatch once before i take that back um but lots of lots of energy movement thumping stick breaking a really weird i don't know how to describe this sound um like a popping and an animal howl that happened several times close together mm -hmm right after we went into bed um, and several other people heard that too yep um, I heard it and I've never heard that I sound heard that. I've been yeah. in the woods a lot growing up and I've never heard anything like that before mm -hmm. um, and then last night uh, what really stuck out they were playing music um, on just like a speaker mm -hmm. and um, Kevin and I kind of walked out into the woods a little bit mm -hmm. out of camp into this area where we saw some movement and heard walking yeah. and um, and uh, we walked out there and played the music and I saw little shadows mm -hmm. close by okay. um, it was it was pretty dark um, the moon was bright in our area but in the woods it was pretty hidden but you could see the movement in between the trees because the light was behind it off in the distance so you'd, so you'd see, see silhouettes shapes. move between yeah, the big, trees yeah big shapes <laughs> big upright bipedal shapes yes yes, yes. okay um, going through but also thinner it sounds weird but um smoke condensed smoke in the shape of beings mm -hmm. moving mm -hmm. you know like shadows mm -hmm. moving but it okay. was very good feeling they seemed happy that we were there they were very close and many of them like three feet to five feet away mm -hmm. and they seemed happy okay. uh, again i wasn't frightened at all i was excited <laughs> mm -hmm. um, very very good peaceful energy and then during the night um kevin got a little sick mm -hmm. and um you know, I heard, I thought he was throwing up, and so I was startled. I at my bag and and went to see if he was okay, and I heard a huge crashing through the trees, bipedal stomps running towards us, like, you know, concerned for Kevin and mm -hmm. coming in to check it out. 
just for the record, coming from the, this direction, these trees is what yeah. she's referring to from behind there. And there's a lot of fallen branches, and you could hear just huge branches <clears throat> breaking step, under the step, footsteps. Step, step, yep, break, yeah. break, yep. Thump and the cracking of the branches, and it sounded like knocking over trees. I mean, right. just crashing through the woods. Right. Um, and uh, um, that was, you know, I, it made me feel good, like they were concerned about him and, and coming to check on him. Okay. Um, Again, the first couple of days, it was really quiet, eerily, not eerily, oddly quiet. Yeah. Just there was no sound, no animals. I didn't see any animals. And today, I've seen uh, blue jay, um, squirrels, lizards, woodpecker. Just Humongous grasshopper. Deers. Yes, big grasshopper. Two deers. The mom and the baby, the mom started walking towards us. Yeah. And we said hi. Yeah. And she kept walking towards us. And then there's a little baby. Yeah. And the baby just started coming towards us. And yeah. the mom and a baby walking into us, which is, is unusual. Right. right. <laughs> and um, they just hung out for a little bit, didn't seem frightened by us, and then walked off. Zeus right. kind of sick, scared the mom away. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> little Zeus protecting us. Yes. That was amazing. And then I was sitting talking to Dr. J. And I heard this huge wing flapping. Coming from above the trees f there, flying this way, and then it flew over there, and then what? It, it just, and I could feel like the air yeah, pressure. Foom, yeah, and foom. it was so loud. Yeah, I've yeah. never heard anything like that. Just right. Whoosh, right. huge, huge. And I saw Dr. J looking behind me where, you know, I was hearing this. Right. And I turned, I didn't see it, but like I said, it was, it was loud. I've had, I've been around Eagle fly over me and yeah. that, um, California Condor flew right over my, my yeah. car. Yeah. I didn't hear the wings like right. this and that was right. big. That spanned over my car. Right. This was something huge and yeah. very powerful energy. Like you could feel this huge thing right. flying. So it was flying from the east and headed west, but um, we were sitting over there in the chairs right over there, and once it got past the trees there, it went um, north. And I was sitting there, and you were facing me, and I was facing you, and I, I looked up and saw it turn and, and fly north. And um, it, it had like, you know, the wing over here was like 10 feet or more, and then the wing over here was like 10 feet or more. And, you know, it it was a foom, foom. Very it was powerful. Yeah, very powerful. And, and I could um, feel the air pressure change. Kind of, it was like. And I, I would put my money on it. What I saw was something I never thought I'd see, and always thought was myth, like Bigfoot. But I'm pretty certain that was a thunderbird. Yeah, he said it was, it was a big bird, and I was like, like a thunderbird, because that's what. <laughs> first came to me like I can't believe this yeah but it that's the only thing I could it was think a up to describe it, it was a thunderbird mm -hmm. and I I was yeah you know, it sounds sounds crazy but it that's, does that's what it was that's what I experienced yep, yep. Yeah. okay who's next I'll go next Kevin so when we came here um I I think that the most amazing thing that I felt since I've been here is just the uh metaphysical energy in this area mm-hmm um, and I think that one of the things that I have felt the entire time is an, 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 an inordinate amount of uh, feeling like we were being watched. Right. So um, it's, it emanated primarily on the other side of those... Uh, the trees on the hill? Yeah, the trees on the hill. So Up the, over there, the trees okay. Trees on the hill yeah. over there. Yeah. But it seems to come in a very, very horseshoe shaped. Yes. Um, Comes from there, goes around yeah, here, here, and then also and then over here. here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So um, it's a very, it's a very interesting amphitheater of energy, and it's almost like it's, it's uh, compressed or compounded here mm -hmm. which is interesting to me because I think that I'm having a little bit of a of, of a hard time dealing with that much concentrated energy mm -hmm. um, I have been in places before sacred groves and things like that mm -hmm. where I felt this but almost here is 
10 times more than that. Okay. And I think that one of the things that's happening to me is, is that, uh, because of the fact that it's, it's that concentration and I've been having interactions mentally and, uh, with different, uh, beings yes. that I, um, uh, it's just it's just overwhelming mm -hmm. um so when sam said last night that i'd gotten sick it was just basically because of the fact that i um have been in this situation where my heart has been very very elevated my heart rate mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. also um so it's almost a state of a adrenaline rush mm -hmm. so the adrenal glands are going um and um, everybody here has described to us this feeling of, um, you know, high heartbeat and everything mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and it's not coming from fear. Right. Um, it's coming from the energy around. Right. Um, the last night when we were in the woods, mm -hmm. I just wanted to add from a standpoint of that, it's about a three quarter moon. Uh, so it is very bright. There's right. no ambient light in the valley. Right. Um, we're not around any uh, sort of tine or anything like that that could right. throw light up. Right. Um, and there's zero winds. I mean, if there was a wind, I would have to say it would be one to five miles, if anything. Right. So you're, it's very not, slight. It's yeah. not having a. Yeah. It's not having any effect on the vegetation movement especially yeah. because of the fact that uh where the trees are over in that location um and as as in any sort of uh northwestern um forest mm -hmm. the trees the, the tree trunks mm -hmm. maybe go up 50 60 feet without any sort of right branches right and then it's just on the top right so where we were looking and where we felt um the beings around us right uh where we were looking off and we were using the light from behind the trees as a as a reference mm -hmm. there is no vegetation or, or right. branches there right and so that's when we saw it i felt a being three to five feet from me mm -hmm. that's not anything weird I right mean, if you if you look at your own life and say uh, you can tell whenever somebody's standing next to you, that's yeah. how it was. Okay. And so um, I did get a little bit ill last night, but uh, while I was laying down in this location over here, Dr. J, if you could pan over, uh -huh. um, there's five of us here. Yeah. We are basically, I would say, at least two to three miles away from anybody in the closest location but i heard a man and a female voice a male and a female voice over here discussing orbs i did hear the talking too yeah mm -hmm. and so i got up this morning and i said to the people who were here i said just so just so we're clear uh was anybody over in that location they reported that nobody was in that location but they were there was definitely something mm -hmm. in that location there Mm -hmm. um, and there's been evidence of um, red uh, lights around these trees. Mm -hmm. Also, I will say that, um, as you can see, if you look straight up, this is our cot here. Mm -hmm. But as you can look straight up, there's nothing there um, as far as any sort of vegetation that could be over there. Right. We were looking at the Milky Way yes. the other day. Yes. Um, okay. One of the things uh, that happened was is... Uh, when I was looking straight up, mm -hmm. one of the stars towards the 12 o'clock in, in your parlance, but over yeah. here, yeah. Uh, started to move around the sky. Like it's squared. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it's... Uh, I saw that too. <laughs> which is okay. interesting because, you know, at one point in time I was, it, it, would, it could be either... Uh, somebody could say, well, it was a plane or something like that, but it did not move in, in, in a, a straight line right. way. It yeah. was it going in a sharp, circle. Sharp turns. Sharp, and sharp turns. And, uh, and around. But basically, my, my opinion yes. is because of the fact that I was, I was sitting here and I believed 
again, that something was standing over me, yeah. looking down, yeah. that in a cloaked state, yes. uh, I was looking through the, the, the being and the emanation uh, of the, of the, you know, the refractory system caused the distortion to have that move around. So, oh, okay. Okay. Um, that's my best description of it. Other than that, uh, what can I say? Well, it's, it's all real. <laughs> okay. And, uh, I mean, with 100% of my being, I would swear to that. That there's squatches up here. Oh, well, there's squatches. There's lots of... There's, there's a lot of, of other stuff yeah, up there. Yeah. There's there's Thunderbirds up here now, yeah. apparently. Yeah. Yes. But another yeah. thing that I meant, forgot to mention, which seems crazy, is I did actually see heads and shoulders. Yes. Of two squatches at different times. Yes. Um, which it seems like you would mention that right away, but there's so many new things. Right. And we've, we've seen them in the woods before, mm -hmm. so... Um, but that was interesting. That was up behind us. And mm -hmm. then the first day when we were here, when I was looking up into the woods behind yes. the car, yes. there's two trees, and in between them was solid black, and I thought there was a tree or something right. there. Right. Then later when I looked, but I felt like I was being watched from there, and I'm looking at it, I'm like, is that a Sasquatch? But there was two trees on either side. Right. Then later when I looked, the top part was clear. Mm -hmm. So it was just black from below. And I'm like, oh, there right. was a Sasquatch there. Right. And then when we got back last night, I looked and there was nothing there. So okay. I thought there was like a shorter one and a taller one. Right. And the taller one left. Right. But now there's nothing in between there. Right. So, so they were watching definitely, us. Definitely, yeah. you know, yeah. two dark Sasquatches there. Awesome. But we live, we live in a world where uh, Sam and I um, basically have had a lot of woods experience. Uh -huh. um, this is not something where, you know, this is not a situation where... I've been out here for the first time, and I can basically get played a little bit. Right. Um, I know that uh, I know that what I'm feeling is what I'm feeling. I can feel um, everything moving around me. It's mm -hmm. just a magical, magical place. We have uh, some similar experiences in Washington, but nothing like this. This is a uh, this is amazing. This is like ten times. And yeah. We just got back from Northern Ireland and you know he's talking about the energy and we yeah. were where there were ley lines and all mm -hmm. that and you could mm -hmm. feel you know it was tangible mm -hmm. um, energy and this is very very powerful even compared to that I mean it's cool and I've experienced the heart heart racing yeah. you know like the adrenaline I've just been excited it's been hard for me to get to sleep mm -hmm. um, and stay asleep especially with mm. all the noise <laughs> yes but um, but I'm not tired <laughs> because I'm so it's just so exciting. Yeah, it's like a giant party here. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Jackie Davis. I'm new to this and this is my report from live where the action's happening. So my first time um, uh, here was two nights ago and what happened was I came here and I felt a quickening in my heart rate just really accelerated and it seems that whenever the beings are around me, my heart rate goes up. Mm -hmm. And so uh, first night we were sitting in our living room over in that direction and there seems to be a big corridor of activity between where the vehicles are and then back through this path. And then yeah. last night noted more perimeter activity. Yes. So night one, um, I'm out here and Steve Bachman is sleeping on the cot next to me over there. On that there. one. Yours and is in the middle. Mine is, in mine the is over there. And Dr. Day is on yeah. one side, and it yeah. felt, you know, safe, good. I'm, I've, I'm covered. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I'm in bed. My heart rate picks up, and I hear thump. The ground is shaking. My first experience <laughs> ever, thump. Mm -hmm. I mean, huge, giant, being the ground was shaking. Footsteps, it went, yeah. It went past yeah. me. Yeah. And over to Dr. J, at which point the covers went up over my head, three layers of blankets, <laughs> and stay there all night. <laughs> and so I'm going, okay, I don't want to be in fear. I really want to experience this, but this is something else. Again, and my heart is like beating out of my chest. So mm -hmm. I asked if it was possible to slow my heart rate down just so I could experience this mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. not have a heart attack. 
in the, in the <laughs> process. And I got some instruction in my head to just drop into a quasi-relaxed state, and it's almost like I felt cloaked. Mm -hmm. I slowed my breathing down. And then what happened was some very gentle pokes happened on my heels, on mm -hmm. the bottom of my feet. Mm -hmm. And then I got this sweet little circular massage on my feet, like, hello, we're here, we love you, but we're not going to do anything else. You mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. That happened three times that night. Cool. And then um, one other thing I noticed, Sam mentioned this, was the huge panorama of sparkly red lights. Felt loving, felt like loving yes. energy. Mm -hmm all around Steve's um, bunk and then all up behind the cars, especially that first night. Mm -hmm. And all night, the first night, I heard beings walking around Steve's bunk and back and forth. Mm -hmm. But I felt a little trepidation by actually getting out of my blanket and looking. <laughs> so day two, um, yeah. I was guided to have the covers off my head. Mm -hmm. And um, day two was... Ooh, uh, like night this, two? Night two or day night two? two? Night, night two. two. Okay. It was like this giant party. Everybody checked us out and then came out of the woodwork. Uh -huh. And it's like we've got all kinds of activity going on. So night two, my head was uncovered. Uh, the heart rate was a little more regulated. Mm -hmm. And I would hear heavy knocks, really distinct knocks. Some whooping and singing from mm -hmm. this direction mm -hmm. over here. Yep. Many more red lights, which Dr. J and I both saw, and a white orb right in that direction. Mm -hmm. And then um, it turned out to be like a dance party around here. We have <laughs> squatches dancing with the music being played. Yep. They seem to love all kinds of music, your flute playing and then the music that Kevin played. Mm -hmm. And it was lively all night, and we had... All of these wonderful experiences felt like we were surrounded by a circle of love. No mm -hmm. fear, night two. Mm -hmm. So I am really excited to see what our third night is going to bring us. Mm -hmm. And I'm open to that. And yeah. I'm a newbie, so I'll keep you posted on how this adventure goes. <laughs> Maybe the Thunderbird will drop down and give us all a ride. As long as it doesn't lay an egg That on was it. incredible. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to thank the three of you for um, taking the time to share with everybody about your experiences. I am glad you're here. I'm glad you're having a good time. Um, we're about to run off to the coast and see the redwoods, and I can't wait to get back here tonight because I think tonight's going to be super special. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yep, this, Bye. this is Dr. J signing off.